I see a number of different um, sports co that, that uh, people come in with uh, anterior cruciate ligament injuries. Uh, soccer is certainly uh, probably one of the more common ones uh, we see. Uh, skiing, um, snowboarding, um, there's a, uh, and obviously you know, football, basketball, any cutting or twisting type sport um, is uh, m more, most frequently the, uh, the cause of, uh, of anterior cruciate ligament injuries that we see. When somebody comes in with a, an anterior cruciate ligament injury, the, the first thing is trying to establish if there is other associated injuries with that, the meniscus, which is a little shock absorbing cushion of the knee, are there cartilage injuries, uh, is this a, a new injury or a, a ligament injury that perhaps has happened previously. And uh, once you've kind of gone through with the patient the, all the, the various injuries, then we try to establish a treatment plan based on um, what the patient's uh, expectations are, their age, uh, things like that. Um, uh, not all uh, anterior cruciate ligament injuries need to have surgery. Uh, some people are able to function reasonably well with a uh, ACL tear. Um, most people who are active, um, especially those involved with cutting and twisting sports, are, continue to be symptomatic uh, from a, a not having a, a an, an intact anterior cruciate ligament. And uh, those people tend to opt for s surgery uh, um, and to the surgery that we do uh, to is involved the reconstruction of the anterior cruciate ligament. The goal of doing a, a, a ACL or anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction is to try to reestablish the stability to the knee. Uh, most patients who are, who are athletes who are involved in cutting or twisting sports um, will tend to choose to go with the ACL reconstruction um, so they can re turn the stability to the knee and allow them to get back to cutting side-to-side -to -side, uh, type twisting sports.